Huh? <laughs> is that not beautiful or what? This is my Stag Arms AR-15. And you know what? We don't need that. Put that out of the way. There we go. Much better. So this video is going to be about the through night Rattel. I'm sure it's not called Rattle. It's Rattel. And it is a weapons light, right? A rifle light. I have been using this here for a long time. The fact is it works. But I don't have a pressure plate. I don't have a, well, a pressure plate, right? Or a pressure switch. When, I'll try to do this because I don't have a whole lot of room. When I hold my rifle, I use the call the C clamp or the thumb brake method. I don't grab my forward foregrip. I do this. And when I wanted the light, I would just hit that. Right? And it works. I mean, it works great. Uh, but the problem is if my thumb is on the light, if I'm doing a momentary press, right? That means there's no resistance on top of the rifle, right? Now, this particular rifle, I don't know if they're all that way. When you shoot, when you pull the trigger, it goes to the side, doesn't go up. So I'm not worried about mus uh, muzzle flip, right? It goes actually to the side, which is okay. I mean, I have a good grip on there. Even this way, I have a decent grip on there, but what's better is the whole thing, right? Like that. I'm not into this. I just don't like that. I like this. Maybe because I just don't trust that. <laughs> Although I've never had a problem, I just don't trust it. That's the truth. Now, the problem with this setup is I don't have a pressure switch, a pressure plate. My friends over at Thrunet contacted me and said, Tim, do you have a rifle? I'm like, oh, yeah. And we have a rifle pressure switch, the Rattel. 1600 lumens. Really, really nice. Great quality. Now, this is a little interesting because it is permanently attached to the flashlight. Is that a problem? Not at all, because I have plenty of other flashlights, right? Great, great quality. I can tell you that. It is a USB-C charge right there. And here is your pressure switch or pressure plate. Now, this can come off and you can, you can pull that out. And you could actually connect that to, I shouldn't have done that because it doesn't go in really, really easily. Go in the hole. There you go. Shut off. Now, it's real simple. This will obviously go on your Picatinny reel, which, by the way, I realize I need to change this. I've been wanting to get a longer one. I believe a. Uh, this is a 16-inch. I... Uh, barrel or the right for the barrel is i i, I want to get a longer one it'll give me more options because there isn't a lot of options for the rail on this one but this would slide over that when you push this one tap light is on it only has 1600 i say only it doesn't have a low medium high i mean i don't think i don't think any gun light at all has multiple settings right so if you push down and hold it, that's momentary on. Hand off, boom. One, it's on. 16, just over 1,600 lumens. It does have a nice throw. It is cool white, which I really, really like. So what I want to do is, where'd it go? Let's do it this way. So I'm trying to do this behind the camera. Take that off. Good. I mean, this this really was a good setup. I mean, it works fantastic. It works good. Uh, I I don't know what I'm gonna do. I mean, there's so many options, which is that which is good, right? I mean, that is good. I don't want my light. By the way, the gun is cleared. It is safe. Don't worry about light, right? I don't want it there. Well, I suppose that would work. I like offset to the side. I suppose that would work. I think the um, the red dot would go over that. No, come on. Loosen, 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 loosen. Sorry, I'm trying to, there we go. You see now it's kind of pointed down. That's not too bad. I mean, now look, it may not stay this way. 
I'm going to get either a rail or you can obviously buy adapters that um, can hang off the side, right? So this would maybe do something like this. Right? I could do that. I mean, that would work, obviously, right? That's pretty low profile. What I could do is take the pressure plate out of that thing it comes in, and I could actually just, like, uh, tape that down or zip tie it down. I could do that. Now, see, that is good because, see, now I get my thumb over bore. Right? I like that. Sorry, it's really hard to do this behind the camera. <laughs> Right, I'm going to quickly check. Let me see. I'm going to look through. You know what? That does work. That actually does work. I just looked through the uh, the red dot, and it, it clears that. I don't even see that at all. Um, I would probably... <laughs> no, I can't get this off. I would probably pull this out and double-side sticky tape or zip tie it on. I will obviously... Do something with the wire. So I may not have to, although I do like it offset. I do like it to the side, like I showed. Um, I don't want it on the bottom. I do like it right there. I know, I mean, I look, I know there's options, right? There's so many, so many options. And that's it, what's great about this stuff. Put that flashlight back up. Uh, yeah. Let me undo this. Undo that. Okay, there we go. Let's put this down for a minute. So again, there is your pressure switch. All right. Hold. So it's down. Hold. That's your momentary. Right. Not bad. Now, again, uh, it is plastic. Light is aluminum. This is aluminum. Very solid. Six, just over 1,600 lumens. That is fantastic. In the box, here's your boxes, your normal through nights. You do have some directions. And uh, you know these. You got to turn the light when you get it. What comes in the box? Uh, stuff that you don't put in your tea or coffee. We do have an extra cover. I just put that like right in your face. <laughs> it, it's still safe focus. That's crazy. Uh, extra cover for your USB-C as well as several rubber gaskets. Got to Always got to have extra rubbers. And there is a usual rather short USB-C charging cable. Uh, I use, again, one of my other, my own charging cables that I've had for a really long time. And they work just fine. I'm just wondering if not this. See, I don't want to have it on the bottom. Yeah, yeah, no, that wouldn't work anyway. Unless I move this, which I don't want to do. Um, I do, yeah. Maybe the gas block. No, no, that's not gonna be. So anyway, there are options. We like options. Go on. There we go. Huh? That that really is great quality. It's just like it feels like and works like just all, all the through night lights. It is great, great quality. Uh compared to what I've been using, which is great, but this is more of a yellow, and I don't I don't really care for the yellow. I like the cool white. And this does not have a hot spot, which I actually like the hot spot much better. Um, you get more throw and it lights up, got a nice ring around it, uh, some flood. But um, yeah, look, fantastic. And it's really cheap. The price is incredible. I will put links in the box below 
when I figure out how I want this, I will be sharing pictures on my Instagram. There's always a link in the description box below my Instagram. You should be following me. I don't know why you're not. But um, when I get this all figured out, how I want this on, whether I'm going to replace this or just put an adapter on there, either here or coming off to the side. I like the canter. It's a, I like offset, however you want to word it, even though it is clearing over it. And I don't even see that. It's clearing over it very well. But um, but personally, I like it off to the side. I don't know why I do. I just do. But I like the fact now with this on top or even on the side. Well, I mean, I would have to hold that. Well, yeah, because my fingers do wrap around that. I don't know. I'm going to work it out. But I just wanted to quickly show you this. It is great quality. If you're interested in it, again, links in the box. Well, thank you so much for watching, everybody. Be well, stay safe, and do good.